Hello, Minecraft Engines. I'm here again. Um, it's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, I've been really busy in creative mode, just playing around, building stuff like this, you know, letting the time fly. Um, but, you know, I have not forgotten about you guys. My server is still up. In fact, I started a new one that is just creative mode, you know, seeing how, how wild you guys can build stuff. I, of course, went straight to my redstone work and decided to build a reprogrammable but uh, combination lock. Oop, my bad. I have it set so that it closes automatically after a set amount of time. Did I miss a button? Okay, so basically if I go like that, four, five, six, and then push enter, it won't open. You know, just to show you that it's not fake. And then I go one, two, three, and I push this, and it opens. And this is my little temporary fort, you know, just to give you a view of how big this thing is from the outside. It is a very good portion of my, fo uh, my fort, what it takes to make that little button keypad. So, I mean, this is about as big. I don't know, as small as I've been able to make it, I'm sure this is only my first time building it, so as <clears throat> I keep building it, I'll be able to refine it and refine it more and more and let you guys see what the inside looks like. Um, I'll go straight to the front and work my way back. Uh, basically, this is the other side of the uh, keypad, and... It's just basically works off of inverters, and then it, these are all the wirings, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, only not in that order. And then I lined them up, as you can see, except for this one. This is the uh, reset button right here, and the one beneath it is another reset button, but that's, you know, something else. And then it runs up in there, and that opens the door. Um, anyways, as you can see, it runs from nine all the way to one. And then it goes over into a inverter I built. Mine a little bit different than other people. I just went and like that. And, and then did a double another inverter that way. And then I have my inverter towers that go up like this. If I can get up here. And then it goes into my first byte of info. Basically, this is the first number. Over here is the first number you'll choose. So it blocks off all of the redstone on top as you can see like if I were to open it and see how the red and stone makes a connection now and but if I were to close it the redstone doesn't make a connection anymore so if you push this one basically it'll just stop dead right here and it won't be able to pass through and what it does is when it gets over here it <coughs> switches over the Nor's latch so that way this powers on this powers off which powers this section of line off and then you just, you know, same thing. It goes the right one, runs up here, powers it off. Same thing over here, powers it off. And then what happens is now that this whole section is powered off, it can then be powered on again by the enter button, which brings it all the way over here to my end gate, um, which is that right there. And both of these have to go off the other enter one, goes all the way around like this. And then they both plug in on each side alone. And when they both power off, oops, it powers that one on, which then flips this one over this way, sends a charge down there over to the door opening it. And then when you step on that pad next to the door, it sends a reset button and resets this because this has to be re this one right here has to be reset every time it's used, otherwise it'll stay in this state and this one will stay permanently off. Um and then, anyways, that's that. And then you can make it as long as you want. I just made it three because I was lazy and, well, it was getting kind of big. Um, we've got a, a bunch of people helping me do do this, dig out the dirt, you know, set the repeater towers. And then I was running the bytes and setting, uh, you know, running the lines. And then another thing that I forgot to mention is when it, cuts off up there it falls down here 
the other ones fall down here because they're cut off right there and the uh power just keeps continuing until one of them gets cut off one of them gets cut off one of them gets or one of them gets taken i mean i'm sorry by the uh thing and it turns off the nose latches anyways um i hope you enjoyed this video and i'm also going to be making um more videos about redstones and uh and how it works and also about how um <clears throat> you know i'm going to take it bit by bit along starting with easy and then hard so that way you can build your own programmable keypad and you know maybe some tnt cannons because i see some of you guys your tnt cannons can only go like two or three blocks and you know mine are going 50 and 60 and you a couple of you guys are like how you do that so i will be posting that um and you know just like i said starting out with what i feel is easiest and then working my way up to the advanced stuff like this i would call this pretty advanced right here the keypad just because it may i don't know i mean like i said i would think it was advanced it took me a little bit to figure out and then make but once you get the hang of it it gets sim more simple and more simple as it goes anyways um comment rate subscribe and make sure you get in here and join my world. Thank you.